tell us about your experience. Uh, like I mentioned, I also grew up in Tennessee. What was your, what was your, what was your mind uh, during that process? Uh, I, I must say I was a bit, uh, a bit nervous, but uh, just meeting, um, you know, all the House of Representatives and um, things like that. Uh, very uh, eventful, very, uh, you know, uh, how can I say it, uh, exciting for sure, but um, I don't know, it was just great, man, just great uh, to be in that atmosphere. Uh, you know, a lot of important people uh, came. You know, for me, and um, I just really appreciate it. You know, um, and I feel grateful and blessed to be in this position. You know, to be able to get the uh, nationalization process going forward, and um, you know, hopefully, you know, everything goes smooth for the rest of the way. Justin, um, we know you've been diligently attending the Gilas practices even before the nationalization. <laughs> <laughs> even, <laughs> even before the naturalization process got going, you've been a diligent attendee of the Gilas practices. Can you like share your thoughts on finally seeing that process um, actually taken in shape? It feels great. Um, I'm here to help out the team in any kind of way, whether it's games or just practice or whatever it is. You know, uh, it feels great for it to start. You know, um, being around the team, you know, seeing how they've been playing and how they've been progressing. Um, I'm just very excited, you know, see what the future holds. Uh, I know Jordan Clarkson and Kwame, uh, I mean, uh, Ange, um, oh, I don't want to mess up this thing, I'm sorry. But <laughs> Ange Kwame, you know, those guys are part of the uh, national uh, team as, as well, part of the team as well. So um, I'm just very excited to see where it goes, you know. I'm excited for the other players as well. Ready to the house here? No, not, not yet, <laughs> but uh, hopefully soon, though, you know, uh, I definitely will be uh, shopping around and just looking, you know, for whatever option, you know, is there, you know, I, I definitely be looking around. Justin, you look good in that barrel. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I, uh, <laughs> with the help of some guys, you know, they helped me out, you know, picking it out and picking my size. So, uh, um, it fits well, it feels good. It's very comfortable, I must say, you know, um, you know, traditionally in the U.S., uh, it's a suit. So, uh, it's way more comfortable than wearing a suit. And um, it keeps you a lot cooler as well. So, I love it, man. I love it. I like the look as well. Okay, thank you, sir. How about uh, learning the Filipino language even more because and then I think they say that you're also learning about the national anthem. Yeah, I'm trying, man, but uh, <laughs> coming from English, you know, it's just very tough, you know. Uh, I, I must say, you know, um, of course, Tagalog is a lot different from English, you know, similar to Spanish, though. Some words, so, um, some words, you know, I can, uh, you know, like, como esta, uh, similar to Spanish as well. So, some of the words I kind of um, understand or remember because I took Spanish way back, but so. It's tough though, I'm gonna say pronouncing some of the words and um, some of the letters how they spell or some of the words how they spell with certain letters that it's just not traditional um, how English is. Even though the letters is just the same, it's just the way they spelled out. So it's a little tough, but I'm gonna get it though.